Hello, welcome back to the channel, I'm EVM, and I wanna talk about plug-in hybrids, of which we were genuinely going to do a video about. This is the Hyundai Tucson, or if you're from Yorkshire, the Tucson. And we thought, well, it's a, it's a car, we've got it, it's a plug-in, you know, it's electrified, it's not, yes, it's not full electric, but it's got us thinking, really, because I don't think this will be a, a big viewed option, but that's not ultimately why I do the channel. The reason I'm bringing this up is because there's an awful lot of plug-in hybrids around. I'm not talking about the self-charging ones or the mild hybrids, as they're called. It's just the plug-in stuff. And I'm thinking, should I carry on? Because there are some very, very good plug-in hybrids out there. And I think that's worthy of a, a video. And, you know, from my point of view, I like to experience lots of different cars as well. So we're doing a bit of a discussion, I guess, in this video, getting your opinions from viewers of the channel and I want you to take the environment out of this. I just want to concentrate on it's a car review. So let's look at is it a car review. Should we do any more? Should we carry on with FEVs? The Tucson. And we are going to drive it just for, because we're in here. Why not? Um, and you know what? This looks really nice. It's a nice place. SUV. If you want an SUV, and there'll be people out there that own them that might think about buying its replacement. I think the interior, really high quality. Yeah. So it's a car, and my, my problem is not everyone can get a full electric vehicle. Please don't be naive enough to assume well, that's even close to being it. If you live in a terrace house, or you how are you going to charge? Well, the end is the affordability yeah. argument, although FEVs aren't cheap. Uh, and then some people say, well, if you can plug in a plug in hybrid, you can plug in an electric vehicle. But for me, FEVs. And it's a, it's a diminishing market yeah, it's now. Be, yeah. Fevs are for people who have unreliable charging. Yeah. My mum and dad, case in point, I use them all the time. They can charge in their town, but you're not going to rely on a single charging site. But it'd be, it'd be, uh, because there'll be times out, when yeah. it's busy or it's down, it's out, and you know, yeah. what do you do? Uh, people who can charge at work, but not at home, for example, where you think, oh, I don't know if I want to risk it yet. So I'm not saying that many people should get Fevs. I'm saying it's a smaller but it's a, it's market, but it is an option. So for me, by pretending FEVs don't exist, you're essentially saying to the people that can't, by choice, you know, by no choice of their own, can't get an electric vehicle, tough. Yeah. I'm no, going no, no, to ignore you. There's a place for these. Yes. There is. For now, and it's not going to be for long. It's going to be, it's a, it's like, I see these as a stepping stone. There's lots of people I know that have bought FEVs just because they, I don't know, for whatever reason, they don't trust electric yeah, yet, or yeah. they want it to do 250 <clears throat> miles, but can't afford one that does that yeah. much. So it's almost like, I get this because it's, yeah. it's as it. I think they say it's best of both, but in my mind, it's probably the worst. It's of also both. well, yeah. But as a concept, they're on the market, mm -hmm. so why not review them to help people who are going to pick one, yeah. rather than go just get an electric vehicle yeah, that cannot some towing. Yeah. Fevs are very good at towing, and you can get the you know the the, the local journeys done out of the way. So I'm not saying that it's a, it's not a big percentage because it isn't a big percentage. But they are around. There's enough of a market for them. There's, there's, there's fevs everywhere. Yes, and manufacturers are probably pushing them more than they realistically need to. But in a world where resources are currently very small to the point where you've got a 12-month waiting list for most EVs, yeah, yeah. is it better to have more, lots more fevs rather than a few what, spread, fevs? Spread the batteries around. Which is effectively what Toyota has done with their normal self-charging hybrids. I think on a spreadsheet, that looks fantastic. Yes, I but think in reality, in reality, it's very different. I mean, most people won't dry yeah. a fev properly. But that lack of resources is essentially why we're only getting things like the Ionic 5 for very expensive electric vehicles well, with there, massive batteries. There's nothing is there, well, there's nothing recently come out that is just aimed at the bottom. No, I want a Volkswagen E-Up. We've just been looking at one. Well, I, 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 yeah, I would you would order one I right would now, wouldn't you? Order one, yeah. in 14, 15 months. Yeah, you're looking at 18. If you're lucky. Yeah. 18, I think. <coughs> so, I used ones. Three grand more than we've found them at least. Yeah, no. It's... And so at this point, we're not, I don't want to turn this into a video that we've already done, which is effectively, should FEVs be still a thing? Yeah. But essentially, it, it, it's related to that. Should people who are buying a FEV or, or getting one as the only option on a company car, perhaps, yeah. should they be ignored from the channel, from channels, I guess? And that's my problem. I'm getting less views and traction. So if I put my, my you know YouTube business yeah. head on for a minute, I'm like, well... The less relevant, and there are obviously more EVs now to choose from. Maybe um, with Fevs as well, it's the other sort of car review channels focus on them more. 
Uh, I, see, I, I think you only get the watt cars where you get seven minutes of someone regurgitating yeah. the brochure. How many litres fit in the boot? Yeah. Which is completely irrelevant given <laughs> it's a shallow or a deep yeah. boot. Uh, and and you don't get a sense of the car, which is what we try to do. Well, it's Yorkshire not. opinion. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but then you have to be realistic. See, a year or two back, and certainly beyond that, there wasn't enough electric vehicles around to to effectively fill up a channel enough. Well, you, we didn't. We, you couldn't. There even, wasn't. We think you couldn't even compare cars because they weren't any to compare with, would it? You no. know, we've got one here at thirty grand. Yeah. What else is around that price? Do you want a Leaf or a Zoe? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now that's easier. Yeah. So. I think my personal preference is FEVs are around, they will be for several years or more, till 2035 certainly. Whether you agree with them or not, they exist. So sh should we get people should we help? Get, yeah, to helping people get into yeah. FEVs or should we just ignore that? Well, exactly, because I would rather someone get into a, a more economical, better FEV than, than just leave them to it. Yeah. Pretending they don't exist, going la 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 la, la, la. Anybody, doesn't it? help anybody for me. Uh, and this is one thing I fundamentally disagree with. Fully charged, yeah. but they don't need to worry for content. No, <laughs> I occasionally it's, do. It's the elephant in the room, so to speak, isn't it? And it it does, is. It does split the EV community quite uh, deeply, yeah. isn't it? And I don't accept the too complicated argument. I can't think of a single fev from the Prius to whatever we've got now, where it's got a single unreliable well, story. I think nowadays with modern technology and engine technology, it's it just works, doesn't it? Just things just work, yeah. It's it's usually not the engine that fails, but various yeah, yeah. other components. So we're, the car. Yeah. so we're not saying that they aren't less efficient. We're not saying that you most people could probably get a full electric that go for a FEV. Yeah. Because that's true. It is, yeah. We're saying there's a percentage, a strong percentage of people that I think should have the same sort of help or videos, whatever you want to call it, as electric vehicles. However, now we're getting uh, a lot more fevs around. I don't think that many people who watch the channel will want to or be that bothered about a Tucson fev. I, I, well, is your inbox full of people saying, "Can you do a No, but more? then you could say that if I, you know, if people are looking for a Tucson, find my channel and then see a lot of electric vehicle yeah. videos. They might go, "Well, actually, you're baiting them." Uh, yes. Yeah. They will watch the channel. Go, oh, I like this guy. I might watch more of it. And then you become like out, an yeah. EV drug dealer. <laughs> yeah. Here, try this one first. It's a stepping stone. <laughs> yeah. But that's a, that's a good point, isn't it? the hardcore battery stuff then. Yep. Yeah. yep. They will see, hopefully, how easy or not it is to own an electric vehicle and go, maybe he's right. Well, I think the thing is that any, to owning any EV vehicle is the barriers you put in your head. Some of them yeah. may be like, I can't charge at home. That's a big one. Some are genuine and some the are made are, yeah. Well, actually, for that one day a year where I do 300 miles in one go. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to stop. Yeah. Um, so this is what I think we should, we should do going forward. Only do the interesting fevs. Yeah. And what what by mean interesting? So. Um, Prius. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd love to try a Prius. I've Prime, never driven a Prius. A plug-in Prius. Because the, 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 so many people have them, and taxis. They must be very it's good. It's the default at what they do. taxi, isn't it? It's yeah, gone yeah. from the Avensis. Yeah. To. Uh, I to, mean, yeah, the Prius. let's face it. If someone says. Would you like to try the Panamera Fev? I am going to say yes. I would be silly to turn that down. Yes. Exactly. And I think that would be interesting enough to go on the channel. But then if you've got a Ford Puma Fev... Yeah, it's a bit... But a lot of people buy them who could probably get a full well, electric vehicle. I'd, so is that that what? baiting thing? I think I'd kind of like to try the uh, the Puma Fev just because Ford, apart from the Mackie, haven't got anything else. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to see what they're doing with anything with electric in it. Yeah. And to be truthful... Sometimes you get a very good car that happens to be a Fev. Yeah. It doesn't change the fact that if you've got a family, it's been very good on it. This. What about that Jeep we had? Yeah. That was fantastic. Jeep Fev. A proper. Yeah, because that was quite unique. It was a proper off roader. It was a. Yeah. And you could do the electrification argument. Regardless of environmental and weight and complexity, yeah, yeah. that has never been a feature of this channel, the environment, pushing down people for environmental reasons. It's just a car review. Don't read yeah, too much. Yeah. Just don't read too much into it. Um, I have a. Well, two petrol cars How that do you? very few miles, but I do have two petrol cars and obviously the electric one, and I have done for years. So I'd be hypocritical to tell someone to get an electric car for the environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, so I don't. Um, so I, I think Fevs, I mean, th this is probably, if you're in for a, a, this size SUV. And it's quite a big SUV, isn't it? From what I can see, it's a really good car. From the, from the reviews yeah, yeah. I've looked on, they're going, you know what? It's well, a really good SUV, is this? The build quality. Better than the Tiguan. Yeah, yeah, the build quality is mm. really nice. Um, so it will suit some people. Yeah. So I don't know. 
bear in mind what everything we've said. And please, I know someone's still going to do it. And Fevs are too complex. And you're just dragging around the extra weight. We should ignore them. I know. I think it's not the resources, we... is it? To, no. build, to build mass, mass produced just battery vehicles at no. an affordable price. We can't do that. It suits no. everybody. No. Certainly the not the current state of the world. No. Um, well, bad enough just trying to get a build slot for most manufacturers now. Well, yeah, I, I know people that have tried to order an ID3 and the dealers just said, don't even bother. Nah. I can't give you a build well, slot. And we're looking at 15, 18 months plus. Before you could even think about a build lot. We were at BMW uh, yep. last weekend. Yep. And they were saying just basically exactly the same. T- 12 to 18 months off for a car is... Yep. And uh, electric or... Yeah, anything. I mean, they, they're, they're, as they called it, bread and butter was the BMW 1 Series. Yeah. The cheapest one that yeah, they sell. Yeah, yeah. You know, they get in and they sell and they get in and they sell. They had one on the forecourt for the whole dealership. That's just... It's crazy. It was a big dealership as well, wasn't it? Yep, big deal. And, and that just shows the level or lack of new cars coming onto the market. It's, it's, Particularly at the bottom. Yep. You even looked at Fevs because you're trying to get an EV. I am. And yep. now for all the problems that we just mentioned exist. And you even looked at Fevs like the 330E because they're on the used market. They're an option. There's Depreciation lot, makes it around. available. Yeah. Um, so th- this is the, the thing, isn't it? it? Just because some people don't like the concept of them doesn't mean that the people who are looking for them should be ignored. I think it's, made... it's not very inclusive no. of you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> for me, when we're looking at the Fevs, you seem to get a lot more from your money. And if you got something that's just you know a bev, yeah, you, you get yeah, a lot yeah. more for your money. Uh, well, like a three thirty or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Compared to an i four. Yeah. Look at the four. Yeah. Did they do a four thirty e, fev? Uh no. Well, they do a three thirty e. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I don't think they do a four thirty. They might do it with the new yeah. model, but, but the, the closest to a three thirty is the i four in electric vehicle world, and that starts at fifty two grand. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's, it's, it's yeah. And there's no Twice used, and there are no, yeah, no used options. So therefore, a 330e at 17, 18 grand is a viable option. Yeah. So well, therefore, people go on YouTube and go, oh, why is everybody ignoring Fevs and telling me I'm evil by driving one? And that's what annoys me. Um, I think you know, the, 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 some people living in a bubble, they look at there and think, well, I, I, can, I, can, I can own an electric it. vehicle. Yeah, yeah. And even if you could afford it, it doesn't mean you can own one. <laughs> there's a, oh, there was a tree surgeon that lived opposite me. And he had one car for the family and for all the stuff he was going to tow. Yeah. And he had a massive um, Toyota Hilux type, oh, wow. you know, yeah, big massive double cab yeah. thing. Because there was nothing else that would fit his family in and be able to tow all the huge Work stuff. tree surgeon yeah. stuff around. So there are people out there. That's and probably I greener than having two cars. Probably is, yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah, like a tow car and an yeah. electric one. So, uh, again, we're swaying off onto the environmental argument again, which we're trying to ignore. But ultimately... I think we're just going to ignore most fevs from now on. Yeah. Because the channel's getting... Yeah. on the special Something ones. that appeals to potentially you, but also us. Again, yeah, if someone... Yeah. The Panamera fevs, I'm not going to say... A, a Range drop Rover fev. Yep, drop of a hat, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to say no if someone says you want to drive this £125,000 car. No, it's not... No, mm, well, would it, mm. It's not like by test driving something, you're giving it your approval. You're endorsing it. Yeah. yeah. It's a test drive. You might go, it? you know what, this is a fantastic car, but it makes absolutely no sense yeah. as a Fev. Yeah. So Let's see if this one does. Yeah. Yeah, so we're not going to review this. <laughs> no, we're just going to go for... We're just going to go for a drive because we arranged it beforehand. But I, th- I think that's the right thing to do, isn't it? Yeah, the right way so. forward. Yeah, I think so. Um, this, this could have been a podcast. Yeah, I think it's probably, you know, if you wanted to really <clears> look at one of these ones, there's probably loads of people on YouTube who've and review it already yeah probably what probably. car a fev for me just makes it easy for people and yeah. someone could say well we should push them into bevs but it's like well surely giving them a taster is better than nothing the, yeah because the, the next car they get after that is more than likely going to be electric yeah. point is proven yeah just 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 it's easing them into something <clears> isn't <throat> it mm. right so that that's essentially it's almost it's not an announcement but it is um, because if something comes up, and I, I, yeah, I, I will admit, not so much now, but certainly a year or so or two ago, if a fev was offered, I would take it because content sometimes is quite difficult to come by. Yeah. There's only so many videos you can do about electric vehicles when you've tested them all oh, yeah. on now, the market. Now there's so many coming out. Yeah. It's not so much of an issue. No, is it, but really? there's, you know, this has been out months. Yeah. And we've only just got hold of it. The sorry, I want to say this. You can't see what I'm about. The Ionic Five. So a, a fleet of them. Just yes. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it's like. I need to put something out because the YouTube algorithm will annihilate me if I if don't. don't yeah. So you either do a basic video that's just like this where you're talking. Or when we're test driving something. Or when we're test driving a FEV. Yeah. So that's the reason why it happens. And that's the way 
that's the way we're going forward. So we're sorry to have wasted your life for 10, 15 minutes thinking you were going to see a review of a Fev, but... Well, ah, it depends what I name it. Maybe I should... Don't watch this. Yeah, clickbait it. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to play the game with YouTube, with manufacturers. Sometimes manufacturers want to get to know you, as they call it, so they'll give you a Fev yeah. before they give you something <laughs> more expensive. You know, like Porsche. They're not going to give you a, a 120 grand Taycan if they don't know you. So if they give you a 50 grand, 60 grand fair yeah, I'm making ways. it up now, but then you get to know them, you build the interest. You're selling your soul to the devil a little bit to then get to the end game. Yeah. So, There's a lot goes on behind the scenes. Yeah. It's not as simple as people just contact you and say no. they want to drive a car. Well, the amount of times I say, can you do a test drive on, uh, yeah, can you do a review on this? It's like, I ask for everything, yeah. whether I get it or not. I mean, some manufacturers don't even reply. No, another one's like, yeah, Kia, yeah. Hyundai, really good. Yeah, yeah, invite you to a nice event. I mean, we've just had a, a very nice little meal. We have, yeah. Mm. This video is almost likely to go on the channel when I'm struggling for content, or if I'm honest, when I'm struggling to edit the content I've already got. Yeah. We've spent two days traveling down here, staying overnight, doing a review, and then another day going back, then a half a day editing it, all for essentially, so you can watch a 15 minute video. So this is one of those that'll probably sit in the wings and I'll just whack out when well, I don't know. well, you know, if you're ill, yeah. I, well, I can't produce, so I'll just stick that out. Yeah, yeah. Because, again, if you don't, YouTube annihilates you. Uh, so, right, we're going to uh, have a bit of fun in this... Let's see how, uh, yeah, how quiet this is. 40-odd grand car, I guess. Um, and then we can tell you how bad fevs are. Boo! Boo! Right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, probably a better video ne coming next week. But yeah. I think this will divide opinion in the comments. Slow so news let week. us know. <laughs> it's a slow news week. That's what it is, yes. Right, see you later, guys. Bye.